Have you ever wondered why ice floats in water? So selamat datang ke sini pencara kimiawa So today we're going to learn about hydrogen bonding And also the effects of hydrogen bonding on physical properties Such as boiling point, solubility And as well as we're going to explain about the density of water compared to ice Now let's have a look what hydrogen bond is Hydrogen bond is defined as a strong permanent dipole dipole attraction Between the partially positively charged H atom of a molecule and the partially negatively charged small and highly electronegative atom such as F, O and N atom of another molecule. Let's have a look at hydrogen fluoride as example. Now, hydrogen fluoride consists of hydrogen and fluorine. It's the partially positively charged H atom of one HF molecule is attracted to the fluorine of the other molecule. The hydrogen bond is often symbolized or shown using dotted lines. Now let's have a look at the effects of hydrogen bonding on boiling points. Normally, down the group, the mass of compounds is increasing, hence the boiling point is also increasing. This is as shown by group 14 hydrides. The boiling point is increasing. However, if you look at group 15, 16, and 17, there is a special case of curve for NH3, HF, and H2O with their respective members of compound. Group 14 does not have hydrogen bond, hence they display a normal trend. Group 15, 16, and 17, NH3, HF, and H2O has hydrogen bond, hence they display a slightly special behavior there. The rest of the members of group 15, 16, and 17 does not have hydrogen bonds. They only have Reynolds forces. The boiling point of NH3, HF, and H2O are higher compared to the rest of the members because hydrogen bond is stronger than Van der Waals forces and that is why the boiling point of these particular compounds are higher compared to the other members of the groups. Meanwhile, the boiling point increases in such order. H2O is stronger than HF and stronger than NH3. Now, the strength of hydrogen bonding is proportional to the polarity of the bond. Therefore, it should be HF stronger than H2O, stronger than NH3. Even though fluorine is more electronegative than oxygen, H2O has higher boiling point than HF because there are four hydrogen bonding per H2O molecule, while there is only two hydrogen bonding per HF molecule. And HF has higher boiling point than NH3 because stronger hydrogen bonding of HF compared to H3. Now let's have a look at the effect of hydrogen bonding on solubility of some simple covalent compounds. Water is a good solvent for liquids and gases consisting of small polar molecules that can form hydrogen bonds with water molecules. For example, ammonia. Ammonia is soluble in water because they can form hydrogen bonds with water molecules. The hydrogen bond is shown by the dotted lines. Alcohol and carboxylic acids are soluble in water because the OH groups in the compounds can form hydrogen bond with water molecules. However, not all organic compounds that contain NH2 groups or OH groups are soluble in water because as the relative molecular mass increases, the polar OH groups or NH2 groups become smaller the non-polar hydrocarbon portion becomes larger. Since hydrocarbons are insoluble in water, they become hydrophobic. And hence, the solubility decreases as the relative molecular mass of the organic compound increases. This is the 3D structure of ice. 
Ice has open structure. Ice has extensive structure compared to water. And this extensive structure formed by strong hydrogen bonds. And because of this, ice has bigger volume compared to water. Since density is inversely proportional to volume, density will decrease as the volume increases. And because of that, ice is less dense than water. And that is why ice will float on water. So guys, we have learned about the definition of hydrogen bonds. We also have learned about the effects of hydrogen bonds on boiling points, solubility, and also how hydrogen bonds affect the density of ice compared to water. And that is the reason why ice floats on water. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. So don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Alright? So bye everything!